Thank you. This, this is a real honor to be here. Um, and I would just like to um, premise this by um, telling you that I, this is a very raw state for me to be in. <clears throat> I call it post-artem. <laughs> Um, I'm just back from two very intensive trips to India and Turkey, uh, a real soul rip and eye opener. It was magical and devastating. And what I'm doing tonight is um, I'm not a linear person at all. I'm very lateral and my brain goes on many levels all the time. So I'm just going to present to you sort of how when I go to my studio every day, this is what I deal with and this is how and through the vehicle through which I try to make my production. And uh, the bulk of the work that I'm going to show you are works that um, I have made processing this trip and coming to terms with a lot of the multicultural experiences that I've had. And uh, it's just a snippet. What I would like to do is also invite you to come and see the show, <coughs> excuse me, which is on at my studio um, until this Sunday. So this is just a little snippet of the work that I have been making in the last month. This piece is actually called India. And like Lynn said, I'm a printmaker and I'm also a painter. I'm, I'm obsessed with making marks and I use all kinds of tools, anything I can get my hands on. And, and I pull from various traditions, thread work, printmaking, painting, color, art history, cultural theory, and I make <laughs> bodies of work dealing with uh, all, all these experiences that I have. And every time I go traveling, I meet people, I'm networking with other artists, and I'm trying to distill my experiences um, in, a, in a cultural format. So um, I just wanted to say a sentence that uh, I read, wrote earlier. Combining Im immediacy and intuition of mark making as a painter onto surfaces which often begin as an original print. So I'm a technical printmaker, but technical printmaking doesn't offer enough. I, I like surfaces that offer more meat on the bone. And, and I really hope that you will. Oh, my apologies. That's a really bad slide. Um, this is a detail from a piece called Earth Carpet and it has thread, ink, beeswax, um, printmaking ink, lots and lots of different materials. And each material has a strength and a nuance and a language. And one of the things I'm obsessed with as a visual artist, this is also earth carpet, it's bigger. It's not the complete piece, but uh, um, I, I like the things that happen between things, the synapses. My father was a chiropractor, he's now retired, but I grew up with a skeleton in the corner of my house and I've, I've, I've been obsessed with the nervous system and energy. So I try to imbibe as much energy as I can. And in, in terms of the nervous system, the synapses, you know, and our fingertips, they, nothing quite meets, but there's a lot of intensity and potential. Uh, and I like to treat that as a metaphor for how I, how I work. This is a corner of my studio and we actually did a workshop with 12 women and we were stitching and, and creating a sort of quilt-like piece. <clears throat> yeah. This is a section of my studio, it's really cleaned out. Um, normally it's a big mess, but these are the works on paper that I have just made um, from my recent uh, trip. And rather than list the titles, the next few slides are really just snippets of what the exhibition is about and I'd just like to read to you um, my artist statement. This series of works on paper began in 1987 after my first trip uh, biking through Europe after I finished university. This desire to travel into and explore various landscapes and cultures has been put into motion exponentially since then. I purchased um, these maps and the pieces coming up are all, these are all works on maps. <clears throat> I purchased these maps in 1988 from a recycling company in Waterloo rescuing them from being converted into envelopes and other stationary products. Uh, with gouache, which is opaque watercolor, um, I started to fill in the biomorphic shape, you know, in a contour maps, and you get like the hilltop where it's just this cool little shape, so I painted it in. Um, I started to fill in these biomorphic shapes of lakes and hilltops, like glorified paint by number kit kits that I did relentlessly as a child. And Realizing that the filling in of the maps was going nowhere, I shelved them for over 20 years. And this is going back to, I, I, I tend to start something and then if it hits a wall, I drop it and pick it up later on when it feels right. Uh, these are actually the works from this current show. And the show is called Gravity and the Prevailing Wind. 
In the past decade, I have had the great fortune to visit Turkey several times. Each visit has offered opportunities to deepen my friendships, access the language and customs, see exceptional growth in the art practices there, as well as exhibit my own work. And this past year, India has been on my agenda, uh, specifically New Delhi, Baroda, Agra. Um, <clears throat> And I had an, a, a rather large exhibition at this place called Lalit Kala Academy, which is something like the Art Gallery of Ontario. I had expected to go and show in a small venue, and when I arrived there, it was a lot bigger than what I was prepared for, but it opened a lot of doors, which I'm still dealing with. Um, this body of work is an attempt to reconcile the psychological, cultural, and physical shifts I have undertaken, to notate, and a lot of my work, hopefully you will come and see it, it's many, many, many layers of notations built up and the surfaces I'm, I'm paying homage to, a rich tradition of color and texture, art history. Any of you have ever looked at a little Indian miniature painting? It's been awestruck. So uh, I, I go to these places to look at the art and meet the people and then bring it back into my own uh, consciousness. Each material, watercolor, beeswax, marble paper, handmade ink, was chosen for its visceral and metaphoric properties. And like in all relationships, the beauty and edge lies between any two or more concepts, media, personality, or histories. So I'll just spend the rest of the time. This, this piece is called um, Forgotten Water. And, and one thing about being in India, it was 48 degrees and baked earth. I, I was dried out like a prune. It was really hard. And when I got back to Canada, I was like, thank God we have so much water here. Um, and, and, and one of the missions that I have is reminding the planet is how much we need our water. And, and through my art, I like to you know, signify these messages as well. Um, amoebic moon. And again, these are all pieces on paper, reworked. So because I'm sort of just at this state now where I've just finished this body of work and I'm just beginning to promote it out into the public, I'm in transition. But to let you know some future projects, I will be going back. There are a series of artists in both India and uh, Turkey that I'm networking with, mostly through Facebook. If you use it well, it's a great tool. Um, and also this body of work and newer pieces will be um, a major solo show at the Cambridge Library and Gallery next spring. And uh, hopefully there will be a book created as well with a local a writer, poet, we're applying for a grant and trying to have a book made. And I've never written a book before, so it's very exciting. Um, and just one other little aside, uh, some of my friends who are from Turkey uh, just arrived yesterday, and we're going to be having a performance at the Youth Music Center on July the 1st. It's going to be stellar. Um, it's Canada Day uh, from 4 till 6 p.m. I have tickets with me if anyone's interested. Um, there are six uh, fabulous musicians playing, and again, it's, it's a great cultural event, and it's on our doorstep. I, I believe this is the last slide that I have, and uh, metaphoric for my process, these maps actually went with me traveling in a tube, and with the intention of having significant people that I met um, be part of the process. And the first person that I met on my journey was at um, the airport here in Toronto, and our plane was delayed, and this fellow, just we just looked at each other and caught eyes, and we, we went for a coffee, and I asked him what he did. He says, I'm a master Arabic calligrapher. And I went, you have just kick-started my journey. So thank you very much for helping bring me home. I appreciate it.